You know, each and every week here on Monday Night Raw, we make history. Each and every week, we have tremendous action. But I believe this week is looking like one of those legendary episodes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Mojo Rawley, representing Titus Worldwide. From Live Oak, Florida, weighing in at 270 pounds, Titus O'Neill. A look of confidence on the face of Titus O'Neill as he makes his way to the ring. And you can bet there will be a look of concern on the face of his opponent once the bell rings. And his opponent, accompanied by Eric from Parts Unknown, weighing in at 275 pounds, the Ultimate Warrior. Ultimate Warrior looking as intense as ever here tonight. And I don't think Warrior has a first gear, Michael. And remember, when he gets on a roll, he's nearly impossible to stop. You are absolutely right, Cole. So I would expect to see his opposition do everything possible to prevent momentum from swinging too much to his side. There's the bell, and the ultimate warrior has already dialed himself all the way up. He's brimming with untapped energy and ready to go off in this match. A win here tonight would do so much good for Titus Worldwide. Don't you think, Corey? Well, as one of the very first investors in the Titus brand, I certainly hope so. Here we go with Titus O'Neil. Here we go with Titus O'Neil. Ultimate warrior making a move. Captured the leg. Ouch. Atomic drop. Oof. 
Look out. Here goes Warrior. Oh, Matt Slam. With some attitude. Hoist it up. Out of it in the corner. Ultimate Warrior gets out of trouble quickly. This is not where Titus O'Neil wants to be. No need to panic. He's still swinging. Being in the ring with the Ultimate Warrior is not a position I envy. How can his opponent even hope to get the win here? Well, you're not going to find a physical advantage against the Warrior, so it's time to put the mind games to work. Dodging his strikes and being a general annoyance could get the Warrior off balance. I agree, Corey. The Ultimate Warrior wants a direct fight because he knows he can win it. The more you refuse to engage and limit his momentum, the more frustrated he'll become. Titus O'Neil first turned heads as a rookie on the second season of NXT. And it didn't take long for WWE superstars to realize why Titus is known as the real deal. The awesome power of the ultimate warrior. Just a steady dose of punishment on display. Caught him with a big boot. On the mark. Corey, you brought up Titus O'Neil's introduction to WWE. When Titus joined forces with Darren Young, they were known as the prime time players. In addition to being worth millions of dollars, they became WWE Tag Team Champions. The prime time players were a top team in WWE, but Titus reached a point where he wanted to focus on himself to build his own following. And that's when Titus created the Titus brand. We have seen such a physical match from these combatants, and the wear and tear is starting to show. And now's the time where the smartest competitor needs to take advantage of the situation. He needs to figure out the quickest way to end this. Teen off! Ultimate Warrior gets out of trouble quickly. Slam! Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Warrior looking on his game right now. Boom! Right between the eyes. Oh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. Titus O'Neil has taken on a lot of damage. I'm not sure how much is left in the tank. Yeah, I don't even think he knows where he is. Well, Titus O'Neil is going to need a million-dollar move to get back into this. The fact that these superstars can still be moving at this point is beyond the realm of reality. Everyone is on their feet in this building, absolutely showing the respect for all the exertion these athletes are putting each other through. Oh, chin locks in. Smart way to wear down your opponent. <laughs> Titus O'Neil with a nice reversal. Oh, what a slam. Titus O'Neil going for an early pick. And a quick kick out for the ultimate warrior. Reversal! What a counter! Oklahoma slam! On the move. And a steam. for this young man. One of the biggest in his career by far. What a battle. Respect to both competitors. 
And this I love. This I absolutely love. Maybe you should have taken a page out of that kid's book in your career, Corey. Great sportsmanship. I would have hit him in the mouth. Here comes Trish Stratus, one of the all-time greats. Oh, this is awesome. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus, the first woman to main event a Monday Night Raw. Trish has the opportunity tonight to write the final chapter in a long storied rivalry with Mickey James. They're on their feet for Mickey. And from Richmond, Virginia, Mickey James. I think it's safe to say that Mickey James is one of the most distinguished superstars we've ever seen in women's competition. I'd go beyond that to say in any competition, the pile of accolades she's collected stacked on top of her veteran experience makes her one of the most respected competitors in the ring today, period. I second that, Cole. It's amazing to think back on everything that Mickey's accomplished. And here she is, still dealing out pain and keeping pace with the best of this generation. Throughout her career, Mickey James has tormented Trish Stratus. Tonight, Trish is looking for retribution after the pain Mickey has put her through. Some feel Mickey is not playing with a full deck as she's terrorized Stratus at every turn. Trish hopes she can put an end to Mickey's warped ways and get on with her life. How are these women still going? This is amazing. It's the uncanny ability that Trish and Mickey both possess to stay in the game. The WWE Universe has come alive in this one. They are up and they are vocal. A lot of energy in the room. Mickey James was able to get out of there. And rolling neck snap. Uh-oh, no, don't do this, don't do this. drop for piercing oh the surfboard stretch agonizing on the shoulders boom a forearm smack get ready there's a big fight feel for this one this is the past versus the present Corey, what can trish expect from her longtime nemesis mickey james mickey james is as dangerous and unpredictable as they come and i think something mickey has to be cognizant of is controlling her emotions sometimes she gets that look in her eye like she's detached from reality and if you lose focus against an opponent like trish stratus she'll put the match away in a hurry Dragon Sleeper applied. She's got her. And she escapes the submission. Not a lot of people could break out of that one, Michael. Mickey James seizing the moment that time. Brutality. And she's back in the ring now. Straight punch. Jarring. Chris Stratus starting to look a little drained. She's not rising to the occasion right now. Blackjack! Stomping! Ouch!
And the ropes break this one up. Great ring awareness there, Michael. Oh, wow. Oh, there's the bridge, and the Muda lock is applied. She's got her where she wants her. Whoa, impressive. You can say that again. I never thought she'd break free from that one. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. Trish is giving everybody their money's worth right here. Ah, oh, right to the throat. Oh, no. I'm afraid so, Cole. This is going to be great. Jeez, I don't like Trish Stratus' chances in this one. She just will not go away. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? Whoa! Tremendous impact. Into the pin attempt. Two! Wow. An explosion of offense from Mickey James. Really taking control here. Up and... Out. Face first. Flapjack. Big time Lariat. Starting to fire up. Superstar getting this from. This is incredible. Money close line. <laughs> what a form. Oh, the reversal by Trish Stratus. Net breaker. That offense really hitting her hard. She needs to turn the tide here. This could be the beginning of the end. Uh-oh. And the ropes will break this one up. Looks like she's got a new lease on life here, Cole, but can she capitalize? Forearm to the uh -oh. face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. Vicky James seizing the moment that... Look at this. She's going to get it. the win. Here is your winner, Mickey James. Michael, what an unbelievable win for Mickey James over Trish Stratus. Mickey took Trish off her game mentally and punished her physically. Here comes Team Extreme. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, Accompanied by Jeff Hardy, representing the Hardy Boys. From Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 236 pounds, Matt Hardy! From the Attitude Era to the Modern Era, the Hardys have consistently delivered tag team title raids, daredevil moves, and countless unforgettable memories.
Matt and Jeff are a duo that makes a very convincing case for the greatest tag team of all time. And these guys are not even close to hanging up those baggy jeans just yet. Superstars in the entire world. And his opponent representing Undisputed Era from Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in at 200 pounds. Kyle O'Reilly! The Undisputed Era has been nothing short of a revolution in NXT. Collectively, they've captured every men's title on the roster, main evented many takeovers, and have dished out many a beatings along the way. It doesn't matter what roster these guys set their sights on, they will rule over it, and that is undisputed. I don't think I remember the last time he looked this motivated, guys. That's a scary thought, Cole. Even before tonight, I don't think I've seen too many superstars more motivated than him. lost with this Matt Hardy. I can't understand his statements. They're out of this world. Just statements of a broken man. He's you know? got a condition, Cole. You just need to become woken. It's very easy. Part of the lawless outfit known as the Undisputed Era, O'Reilly is set to wreak havoc. Yeah, sometimes you need to go outside the bounds of the rule to make noise. Kyle O'Reilly knows that. Matt Hardy changing position. You've got to wonder how much has been taken out of these superstars thus far. And is there anything left? Hammerlock. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Knee drop. Multiple stops. Matt Hardy is one of the longest tenured athletes in the WWE, and that experience, along with his signature innovative offense, can give him a massive advantage in this match. How do you save yourself from being deleted? I'm not sure if Matt Hardy is good crazy or bad crazy, but either way, you need to turn that against him. Get Hardy to overextend himself and take an unnecessary risk, then turn the tables on him. Speaking of crazy, you can't allow yourself to be caught in his whip. And the ropes save him there. I don't think people realize just how difficult it is to make your way to the ropes while being in a hold such as that one. Matt Hardy getting put to the test. He's not looking great, but never count him out. Oh, what agility. The arm bar is locked in. He's just about there. And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. Wow, what technical prowess from Kyle O'Reilly. Yeah, the O'Reilly combo. Oh, right to the gut. Oh, what a to the ropes. How impressive was that reversal? Impressive strike combination. Nice contact there. And the rope forces the break. 
You know, I really thought he was smarter than to apply a submission so close to the ropes, but I guess not. Boom, boom, persistent barrage. But there's plenty more work for him to do here. Neckbreaker! Really just laying it in. Up on their shoulders! Down in a hurry! That's how you wear down your opponent. Butterfly applied. Beautiful suplex, but not done yet. Still going. Another one. Going for a trifecta. <laughs> Headlock back. A well measured strike. Whoa, Matt Hardy dodged that one. Elusive. Double underhook, butterfly applied. Beautiful suplex, but not done yet. Still going. Another one. Going for a trifecta. He's climbing the turnbuckle. Will this pay off? All the way for the top. Whoa. 